Hey guys, it's me again, Andrew Ambrose. And in this video, I'm going to let you guys know of a, about a couple things that uh, to expect that you should that you can expect uh, in the future. Uh, basically, well, it's the new year 2020 and of course, I I have many things, many videos planned um for you know, the near future. And well, today I've decided that I should let you guys know basically a couple things that uh, you'll be seeing pretty soon, hopefully. So, uh, yeah. So, uh, most first of all, um, I'm cre I'm I'm working on an intro for my channel, like for for my videos. Like th these will mainly be for my my YouTube poops and my sports stacking videos and possibly other videos that may be made down the line I'll finally have myself a video intro and well it, it's, it's gonna be pretty cool or at least to me it is and I, I'm hoping it'll be amazing but I, I felt that like I, I wanted I felt like now it's the new year I should spruce up some things a little in my videos so I have, I'm making an intro for my YouTube poops and for my sports stacking videos and other things, um, so that, or, so that, like, you know, there's a, there's a little bit more, it's like, it's not like just the video starts, like, like with my YouTube poops, like, like, you normally just see, like, a disclaimer, this is fair use, don't copyright strike, and, and then the video starts, like, no, there's gonna be a, a little something to get you spruced up, getting ready, cause, you, Get get you excited for what you're about to see, and and then it starts. Or, like with my sports stacking videos, like, yeah, like with that, like, like same thing. Um, and just to let you know, um, this intro will not be for Andrew reviews. Andrew reviews videos. Um, I I make uh, special intros for each individual video because well. Um. I, I guess it's just, I don't know what, it's like, I, I just like making a different type of intro, I like making my own special intros for intro reviews, because the way that you've seen, if you've seen my episodes, you know, the way I do it is with a little something, and, and then like, you see, and then like, an intro, or, yeah, basically, I, 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 I hope I don't sound like I'm going rambling, but... Basically, I'm not. This intro will not be uh, for Andrew reviews episodes because those will have their own intros. So it'll be kind of re it would be redundant if I put this in and, and and then put it and then have the review with its own intro. So it's like it, it's it's kind of dumb. All I'm basically saying is. But anyway, a um, couple other things. Um, so uh, I'm gonna also um so. Some other things, uh, uh, for Andrew reviews, um, I'm working, I began, a few days ago, I began writing the script for a review of Hyper Olympic and Hyper Sports for the Nintendo Famicom, and I'm, I'm, for the, I'm pretty sure you guys know what it is, but for those who don't know, uh, uh, those, um, those are home ports of two Konami arcade games from 1983 and 1984, that were released in America as Track and Field and Hypersport, and Hypersports, respectively. And well, they were games made by Konami to help promote the 1984 Summer Olympics in Los Angeles, California. And well, um, yeah, and they were, and they helped um, begin a genre of Olympic type games where it involved like button mashing, mainly, and well. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure most most of you guys know about the Konami Olymp uh, Konami's Olympic video games by now. And well, since this year the since the Olympics are coming this year, um, uh, I decided to do something special um, to celebrate the coming of the Olympics. So I've decided to do a Andrew reviews episode of uh, Konam the Famicom versions of the Konami. Hyper Olympic and Hyper Sports uh, games, 
And well, as a matter of fact, I've, like with the script, I've actually gotten a pretty good amount of the script done. And I've got it all planned out in my head, how it's going to go, and it, it's going to be pretty cool. So expect that in the future. Uh, another thing, um, you may you may have seen the those the the playthroughs of Bosconian for the Sharp X sixty eight thousand on my channel, and well, if you haven't read the description of those, I am planning on doing a review of the the Sharp X sixty eight thousand of Bosconian. Um, I haven't started writing any scripts, but the that gameplay footage that I upload to my channel will serve as the footage for the review. So I've kind of gotten myself started with that basically. But I also promised that I would um, upload me a game, upload gameplay footage, a uh, gameplay footage of me uh, beating the th uh, third uh, level of Bosconian for the X sixty eight thousand. Cause like I did the first two levels, but now, and I was, and I said in my uh, in the description of that video that I would do a, a third video of me beating the the third level of. Uh, Bosconian for the X68000, so expect that as well. I I, I haven't gotten around to that, and I don't know when I will, but pr uh, I promise I, I will try to see if I can do it. But anyway, um, what else? Um, and well, um, these are... And besides those, um, there aren't any other Andrew Reviews episodes that I've started working on, but, the, but I've got some uh, episodes here on my in my notes on my phone that I am considering doing as ideas that of games that I want to do. Uh, Zippy Race for the um, Sega SG-1000, uh, Frenzy, and Jungle Hunt for the ColecoVision, and uh, the Atari 2600 version of uh, Venture. So those are ones that I want to do in the future. If, of course, you guys want me to review certain things, Please leave them in the comments of any of my videos, mainly my Andrew Reviews episodes, and I will take them into consideration. I won't review just any game, but if there are, but I am, but I do want to know what 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 kind of what games you guys do want me to take a look at. So be be fe feel free to leave your thoughts in the comments. Uh, uh, YouTube poops. Uh, my main, the main spice of my channel, uh, like, you, you guys have, uh, you guys have seen the, the latest video, the YouTube poop that I've put out, um, on December 30th, the day before New Year's Eve, uh, Psycho Eddie, and well, I was hoping, like, a, a lot of, I hope it would get a lot of views, but it really didn't, but, for those who saw it, they really enjoyed it, and I'm glad, because I started working on that video in, like, October or November, I th no no it, it, November. I started working on it in November, and I put it off because I couldn't think of any ideas, and I just moved on to other things like moved on to my other things like uh, I think the Pepper Two review. I th yeah the Pepper Two review as well as the remake, the remake of. No wait, I'm trying to remember. No, the Pepper 2 review, I think I did in October or November. I don't have this with me right now, but... I was doing other... Th I decided to just do other things. Mainly the Christmas Nightmare remake, which I did... Which I posted in December uh, the 20th. And basically, after I posted that, I decided to go back to working on my... That YouTube poop. Because, well, I didn't... Wasn't thinking of doing anything else. And, well... Considering what I had to do, I didn't... Never thought that I would have finished it by the end of the year end of the decade, and it would have to carry over into January of 2020, but miraculously, I ended up finishing the the day before the day before New Year's Eve, so after that, I just decided, you know what, I've done, I'm just going to post it the very day before New Year's Eve, so that I won't have to worry about uploading it on New Year's Eve, because I had to get myself prepared for the New Year's party at my house. But, but yeah, like, that, that's basically what happened. So it was kind of a miracle that I was able to finish it by the the end of the decade, basically. But anyways, um, as for poops that I'm either currently working on or, or am considering doing, um, 
you may have known, you may have heard about this either on my Twitter or uh, in the description of some of my videos, but uh, quite a while ago, I started a, a work, work on a, a YouTube poop collaboration with my brother Christian uh, of, of an episode of The New Adventures of Winnie the Pooh. And, uh, and well, you're, and well, as for that, um, as for that YouTube poop, um, all I have to say is I haven't been motivated to work on it a lot, and it might not come out for some time, but if I ever feel up to it, I, um, uh, I will hopefully continue with my brother on working on it. Like, I, I, I don't really feel like working on it right now, but I do hope to, like, finish it soon, like, uh, it's, it's like, it's like, it's like, I kind of, it's like, I don't really want to work on it, but I don't want to just leave it, just leave it be for a long time, because we already started working on it, but there's still a lot more that we have to do, so, keep in mind, that one won't be out for quite a while, um, as, and well, that's, and well, as for, um, poops that I want, as for, uh, YouTube poops that I want to do. Um, I want to do another Arthur YouTube poop. The, my two Arthur YouTube poops, Arthur and Francine do things, I guess, and Francine is the worst. I really liked those ones. Those are two of my own, like, Francine is the worst, especially, is still a poop that holds up really well, even after a, a year. Um, and, well, it's been a while since, it's, it, I'm, 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 I'm kind of flabbergasted, to say the least, at this point, that I, that I haven't, it's been about a year since I've actually done, done an Arthur YouTube poop with, to poop, but considering how ripe the source material is for jokes, so I'm really hoping to do another one of those, but also I'm hoping to do, I want to do a YouTube poop of an episode of uh, Nickelodeon's uh, Doug, like, y y you know, that, you know, one of the original three Nicktoons, you know, you know, uh, but yeah, Doug, like, like I started watching Doug last year, uh, a few months ago. Uh, a few months ago, I think. And well, I really, but because I always heard it was pretty good, but I ended up really liking it more than I, th I thought I would. And well, now it's one of my favorite cartoons ever. So now I'm hoping to like do an, a, a YouTube poop of a Doug episode because I've, I've thought of some ideas. I don't remember a lot of them, but I have thought of ideas, and well. Hopefully we can make something really funny happen. Um, I'm also to hoping to do some YouTube poops of some King of the Hill episodes, because that's another show I really like and really ripe with material for YouTube poop jokes. And well, I actually started working on a King of the Hill YouTube poop way long ago, back when I was still using iMovie. But I unfortunately never went, went anywhere with it, and I ended up just canceling that project but so, something could happen. Um, I'm hoping to do an episode, at least, I'm hoping to do something with King of the Hill for YouTube Poop sometime, so, yeah. And, let's see, what else? Um, uh, what else? Yeah, and well, that's, a yeah, that's about it for YouTube Poop. And, well, and, well, before before I go here, I just want to list a couple more th couple more types of videos that I I'm hoping to bring out. Uh, um, on, on New Year's Day, uh, five days ago, um, my dad took me out to Silver Ball to play play some games on the last day before I went back to school, and it was really and it was really fun. And as a matter of fact, I actually I actually uh, decided to bring my camera along. And record footage of me playing some of the games that they had there. And well, mainly I did that because... Oh yeah, I forgot to mention this before. Uh, but I was hoping to... Because to, another review that I'm considering doing is the Microsoft Pinball Arcade for Windows. Um, which is basically a collection of real-life pinball machines recreated digitally. Um for computers, and well, it's actually one of the best, um, simulations of pinball that I've ever seen from anything. It, it the, the quality that Microsoft did on this 
it's right up there with the uh, the Naxit soft pinball games like Alien Crush, Devil Crush, and Jackie Crush. Um, that's how that's how good it is, and I'm really hoping to do a review on that. Well, I decided for this review that I would actually capture footage of some of the some of the real machines that the that that they decided to recreate because, well, Silver Ball is is really. I, I live in New Jersey, and well, Silver Ball is not too far from where I live. So, and I've actually played some of the games that are featured in the pinball collection previously, the real things. So I decided, hey, why don't I get footage of those when I'm talking about, when, and reference those, and it would be really cool. And well, and well, that's what I did. I got footage from some of the games. But then I decided also to record footage of me playing a couple other games just for the hell of it. And now I'm considering doing a compilation video of all of the record all of the uh, video video footage that I took on that day at Silverball. The pro and well, I was actually considering just doing it right there and there the day I got home, uh, right after I got home from Silverball. But the problem is, is that I I want. Before I do anything else, I want to f finish my channel intro because I want. I, I I basically I just want my channel vid. I want to use my channel intro in in this Silver Ball compilation because because it's the new year and I and besides this video, I want to uh, have most of my videos starting this year have the intro and that includes this Silver Ball compilation so. Once I finish the intro, then I'll quickly make the montage of Silver Ball footage that I got on New Year's Day, and hopefully have that up pretty soon. Um, also, what else do I have here? Oh yeah, um, I'm thinking of like just just for fun. This I've decided that I want to like do a fan dub of the Hotel Mario cutscenes because well. I, I like the cutscenes from Hotel Mario, and well, I can do a pretty good. I, I think I can do a pretty good impression of Mark Gruber's uh, Mario and Luigi from those cutscenes. So, and well, I've been thinking about doing it, but I've been shying away from it because I don't use a real microphone to record my my voice. I use my phone with voice memos, but recently with, but recently I bought myself a snowball a blue snowball ice microphone for forty dollars on eBay and well now I have a real microphone to work with so I can actually record my voice with a real microphone so I won't have to always use my phone for that stuff. And actually now that I think about it I'm I'm actually considering like doing a video on all of the uh all of the stuff all the things that I bought on eBay with my my crisp the Christmas money I received this past December. So yeah, I'm I'm hoping to do a re like a my own uh one man fan dub of the Hotel Mario cutscenes. It's gonna be pretty cool, and I'm I'm pretty sure you got uh, hopefully you guys will be amazed at my ability to mimic uh the voices from the cutscenes so very well. So yeah, that's just something I'm considering doing for fun. And uh lastly, last before least, I mean, no, last but certainly not least, I meant to say. Um you guys really liked my Peter Wenzlau my remakes of two, uh Peter Wenzlau's uh Home Alone and the Christmas Nightmare videos and of course and well, you guys really liked those and well I'm ho and well, I'm hoping to do um, two, at least two more remakes of his videos. There weren't that many of his skit videos that he did back in the day, at least none that I know of. But two I'm hoping to do, at the very least, are his Don't Take Ecstasy video and his Double Trouble video. The thing is, is that I need someone to do the videos with me. But once I get the plans to do that... um. I'm hopefully going to do that, and well, it's, it's going to be pretty fun, but, but that's probably, like, for the, for later in the, like, for later on, like, but I'm hoping to do that, because it's, it's going to be pretty fun, 
and well, and and I really appreciate how a lot of you really liked my on my remake videos that I did do, and got a lot of positive feedback on that. Everyone really enjoyed it, especially Peter Wem's fan club. Shout out to Peter Wem's fan club, very loyal subscriber of mine, very cool guy. You know who you are, and well. Yeah, I'm, I'm just really glad that you guys really liked my remakes, and I'm hopefully going to put out the the remakes of those two other ones. Just give me some time. Uh, well, that's just about it. All I wanted to say for this video, I'm sorry if I stuttered and rambled on a lot, but I just really wanted to get this information out to you guys, and... Really, all that I can say at this point is I really appreciate you guys for for subscribing, for liking my videos, watching my videos, and especially to those who comment on my videos, because it's always good to hear stuff from you guys, even if it is just saying that this video was amazing or this video was awesome. It's really appreciated when you guys do that for me, and hopefully we can continue with this with every passing day, week, month, and year, and what have you. So, thanks guys, I really appreciate it, and thank you for taking your time to listen to me ramble on about stuff that's happening in the future and a bunch of other dumb crap, <laughs> basically. So, t so, yeah, thanks for watching, and as always, I'm Andrew Ambrose, and I'll catch you later.